It's time to pick out the papers for the three journals I'll be making during the Seven Days of Summer collab with Kara Brandon that starts tomorrow. I'll also show you the digitals we'll be using. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and right now I'm going through and I'm picking out papers for my seven days of summer journals. I'm going to be making three. I'm going to make a watermelon, a lemon, and a berry journal. And so I want to pick out papers that I can use that go along with those themes and um they're going to be very similar and but the but different <laughs> so i since i have i'm going to be making three so i'm going to be picking out three just to make this easy i'm going to pick out three of the same kind so this is coffee day dyed um polka dot or holy paper we use the holy grill um, sheet to make these uh, that's in my coffee dyeing video and then the video that I did last month where I coffee dyed on using the plastic placemats I'm gonna use uh, some of those so those were the straight ones and then I have some that are corners okay so We'll do three that are corners, three that are straight. And, you know, I do even, I have some that the first ones were just more like embossed um, before I found that the spraying worked really well on them. So these are just barely have any any print but those are daisies and I want to save the daisies for the daisy journal so okay so aren't those beautiful um okay so this is I'm not going to use those so we can put those back up with the coffee dyed paper here okay so I have this bright pink these, these this is easter egg dye Okay, and so that's a possibility. I'm thinking the, the green pages, possibly for the watermelon. I don't know. I'm going to go, I'll put those over there. Okay, so pink, green. Um, look at that beautiful orange. So if you are um, uh, in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group, you guys saw a picture a while back and I asked you what you thought it was and it was actually this this paper in the dye. So um, I don't think I need orange for that. I'm gonna save the probably save the orange for the orange um, the orange. Okay, so I have this set of yellow that I think I can use those for the lemon. Okay, so that's going to give me some ephemera for the lemon. Um, probably not going to need the blue. Um, I don't know what. Something fluffy got on here. Okay, so we'll save those aside. Ooh, these are pretty. And there's a... get rid of that sorry um yeah this looks like flamingo i might have to use these in my flamingo stuff coming okay these are cd um covers i i remember when i did that and i thought they were i didn't know that that's what was in there okay we'll put these over here for right now okay that looks like a good page for the lemon this one's um, cardstock. That might be good for the lemon. So down below here for the lemon. And ooh, that's pretty. That might work for the watermelon or the berry. 
and just some more yellow pages. Okay, don't, yeah, blue, probably not. These pink ones, well, the blue we might be able to use, ooh, that's pretty, um, with the berry because there's, um, yeah, so we can probably go ahead and keep the blue stuff out. And the pink stuff. Oh, here's a, a water embossed page. I'm going to set that aside for the butterfly journal I have coming in. Okay, so if I just keep these out, I think this is avocado dyed paper right there. Okay, so we, we have the colors. I'm going to add the colors um, later, but I um, wanted to make sure that I went through and saw what was there. Just scared the cat right out of the room. Okay. Okay, so from the guest book, we'll get three pages. So there's one. What? Maybe if we come from the other side. Oh, yeah. I need to remember. Okay. Wait a minute. I need... Yeah, we'll be okay. I want it. These, this is actually the pages that were left from the guest book from my uh, original, my first wedding. And I wanted to use these pages um, to make just a little tiny guest book for my granddaughter for her graduation. So I'm going to put that up with the graduation stuff. Um, okay, so here we have like some vellum. So we'll take three sheets of that. So each of them will get a vellum. Put this right here so it can get put away. Um, here we have some children's paper. And we have three pages. Perfect. Okay, I do want to separate them so it's easier to get them out pages. Okay. Um, one, two. Getting down to the end of my mom's paper here. So two sets of three from that. And I, okay. One, two, Okay, we don't need those. We don't need that. Okay, so here we have a little mini bullet journal. Paper. I only have five, so... Okay, here we have another children's note paper. Two, three. This is the newsprint kind. And we have our mini ledger. One, two, three. So this is, um, you know, when you, I could make one really big journal, but I thought it would be kind of more fun to make some little ones. So this was my mom's. So I know that we'll have to go down, down here to get papers. But there's three and here's three. This will be for the, the um, watermelon and the um, the berry. We'll use those. 
And then for this one, this is from my dad's stuff. And we'll use this for the lemon. They have these at Staples. They are a pretty penny, but they are eight and a half by 11 side by side. Awesome paper right there. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna use this because it's bigger and I'll have to cut it down. Um, so I'm gonna put this up here with the coffee dyed and if I decide to use it, it's there. Here we have, oh, this is that large graph paper. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, that's kind of fun, different. That was in mom, I think that might've been Happy Mail. I don't remember. Okay, now this, I'm not gonna use this this time because I, I would have to go through and reinforce it and all that. And I don't, I know I'm not gonna have time for that. Okay, now ledger, each of them is gonna get one of these. One, two, three. Let's give them each two of them. Cambridge and I get people give me these okay uh, I tell people what I do and they give me those okay so this is a map index I'm going to go back here where the, the um, darker pages are and grab three pages for the piles. And then I have some noisy paper. Okay. There's the noisy paper. And then I have some, the parchment paper that was left from uh, making my granddaughter's well, there's still way more than this, but this is out of the pile that was here. And I'm going to take two sets of three of that. Um, can you believe it? I, I think I'm at the end of this paper. This was the paper that was in between. Let's see. Let's pull this out. We might find, we might find one or two. I just need two. <laughs> Okay, so this was the paper that was in between the acetate. And we've been, oh, there's some. All right, so it's between the blue acetates. And I just love it because it's grungy looking and it's noisy. Okay, so there we go. There's two plus the other one. This, this was my dad's. <laughs> he gave this to me a long time ago, though. So. Okay, I'm gonna just, I've got stuff all around me. Okay. Don't need those, those, or those, but we need that. Okay, so some, getting quite a variety of papers here. Okay, now, um, map. And I love this with the yellow. This is the city. So there's Iowa. I mean, it's states. This is South Dakota, Nebraska, Colorado. I know you're going, what, what, what's going on here? Well, I have kids that have lived in all those places. It's like, what can I... Okay, Montana, we don't have anybody there right now. We don't have anybody in Utah. There's one, two, um, Nevada, New Mexico, and this is Texas, and Oklahoma. Okay, so these I can put back in the save it for the kids' books. And then I have my dad's um, graph paper. 
And we'll take three of these. And then we're going to get into um, okay so there's that um, and then next I'm going to pick out my papers now I know that I'm going to need to print off a couple more of these because this is the collage page from the sweet summer digital kit in the dear Julie Julie Etsy shop so I'm going to want to print off a couple more of those I can use these in the berry one. Okay, so there's berry. This one can go in the lemon. And this one can go in the lemon. And this one, that one obviously goes in lemon. That looks like berry. And berry and berry. So this is um, huh. I'm looking for a watermelon. Okay, well, there's those. Okay, so this can go with, um, okay, so I think we're good on, probably on very digital pages. Okay, so we're gonna do those with the very digital. Um, let me see over here. Okay, so these are, this is the day one. So this is what we'll be working with tomorrow. We'll be working with watermelon. And um, yeah, so those, those pink papers that we picked out are gonna look amazing with the watermelon. And then day two will be the berries. Day three is yellow, so probably gonna go with the lemon. Day three. Day four is lemon. Day five. Day six. Day seven. And then these are extra. Okay. So that is, those are the, what we'll be using in the seven days of summer. So I'm going to be making the journal pages up and then I'm going to be making ephemera to go with them. So um, I also am going to be printing out Kara's uh, pages kit and I also am going to be printing out um, these two pages. Okay, where, where are they? Kara's collage pages, I think day two and day five. Um, I'll be printing one of those for each. So there'll be one of these in the lemon and in the berry and in the watermelon. And there will be um, one of these. Actually, that one's more just berry. So I'll probably, anyway, um, yeah, so I, like I said, I'll be printing out those and then I'm also going to be using the, um, base kit, the base digital kit. Let me show you that. So I'm going to be using this along with, so I'm going to be, um, cutting those out as well. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and we can kind of get started and I can show you some of the things that we'll, we'll be doing. So let's see, does this one, 
Okay. So I'll, you know what the other thing is, is I may print um, from the tiny houses kit, the green background on that. So yeah, I, I will be doing that. So I'm not going to I'm not going to fold those right now, but this is what I'm going to be putting in the berry journal along with those other. This is a lot of pages, okay? So, and what I'm going to be making is the ephemera to fill in the rest of these, these journals. So this is what we have for the lemon. And you can see she's on this side and she's on that side. So that's, that's good. And we have this. And we'll go ahead and print one of these for the lemon also. Okay. And you know what? And we might, no, I was going to say we might print her. Um, okay. But there's, there's for the lemon. Okay. So berry, lemon, and then the watermelon, I will have to go and check what we're going to use for that. So again, this is the, I'm using the Sweet Summer Digital Kit. I'll be using the Seven Days of Summer. So starting tomorrow with day one, I'll be using the Seven Days and we'll be going through that. And, but we can go ahead and get these pages figured out. Okay. Um... So, are you joining in on the seven days of summer? I will have some special prizes for, for those that um, participate and comment on the, this video or the details video. Um, and then in the Scrap All About It Facebook group, and in Kira Brandon's Facebook group, we are going to have a post each day where you post your project using the, like on day one, you'll post your uh, project for day one. Um, show us, post in there what social media, you know, your link to your Instagram of that or your link to your YouTube. We also will have a playlist um, of the each day where you can add your project to the playlist. Okay, so I'm just going to do one of each to start off with, but it'd be much easier to have all, you know what, we're just not going to worry about that. Okay. But you see the colors in this map, I think, are going to be great to use. And I always, I like to use um, map in my, in my journals. So there's one, two, three. Each of them are going to get one of Dad's grungy acetate in-between papers. Okay, so this is kind of assembly line. It's kind of cool to be able to get three journals all done at the, the same time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this piece. Now, some of these might be a little long and I might have to cut them down, but we're just going to fold them and get them in here. So this, this page also could be used, torn up and used as like, like you would use a book page. I think that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, now we are, okay. So I'm going to turn one page straight on its side of the ledger. Okay. So each of them are going to get a straight on its side ledger full page piece. I think these are going to look, the color is amazing here. Okay, so you're going to see me making the ephemera 
And then behind the scenes, I'm going to be working on these pages as well. So um, those will be other videos that you'll see coming up later. So this one, I have taken one of the pages that we folded and I'm folding it this way and that's going to give us a pocket and then this way we're going to have the numbers 1 through 31 so if you were, wanted to use this for um like you know like your like your monthly journal then there you go you are all set so I have videotaped almost all of making Shelly's graduation um, journal. It is pretty, pretty cool. Um, it's kind of a mini album, but it is very much mini album journal neat. Okay. And um, oops, I, want the, I want the pocket in the middle. And so what I'm going to do is the, um, starting June 3rd, the, cause they, they have to be edited. You guys, they are, they're hours long because <laughs> I just turned the video on and started creating. And so, but they're going to be in the Patreon and for all Patreons to see, as I get them edited, they'll go up in there in June. Okay? So, um, yeah, I just wanted you to know that that's where they'll be. I will um, show the flip through of it eventually. I will be taking a video of it. But with all this other stuff going on, I am, I am really behind. Okay, so this is going to be for the lemon. The lemon's going to get three side-by-side -side yellow pages. Okay. And we'll just put them in there like that. Um, okay. Each of them are going to get one of these. And I'm going to go ahead and do this as a... They're going to be a little big. Okay, so we're going to have to cut them down. I'm not going to do that right now. But I am going to fold them and make them a flip. So you, I like I like grid paper like or graph paper for projects. Okay, so what I'm doing is I have um, one of my side-by-side -side papers here. And I'm just making sure that I'm inside that. A good ways because if it gets to the point where I'm cutting things because of the creep, I don't want to be cutting a flip that I purposely made into a flip, which is usually my graph papers. Okay, so like if I'm using this for a garden journal, then I have um, a place that I can. Uh, you know, do a project like the landscape of my garden can, can be done there. Okay, so here we have three, three of Dad's pink papers. Let's go ahead and cut this off. Okay, so the, um, the lemon got the yellow and the... Watermelon and the berry are going to get this pink. Okay. And. <sighs> if I do it like this. I am going to cut this off. OK. 
Okay, so this is going to go in there with that because it goes with it. And um, let's see. Okay, if we go with folding this, okay, so what I'm going to do this time is I am, we're going to build our own side-by-side -side pages, you know, it, it's, uh, bring out the scoreboard. That's a half inch that I'm marking it there. Okay. And this is going to give us another flip out page also. But I just think that... Or I could cut these and use them as a... Like a note paper. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Okay, so we're going to come here, open this up, and I want to mark this at, well, five and a half would be the 11. So let's go down to five and a quarter, and that way, if it ends up as part of the creep, it's okay. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here in this pile, and then these, we're going to glue these together, make our own side-by-side -side papers is what's going to happen. We're going to have two on one side and one on the other. Um, and if we need more, we have more of this paper. This is really nice paper, by the way. Okay, so what we can do is do like this. And we have built our own side-by-side -side paper. And then our other one, we kind of just put it in there. Okay. So don't be afraid to, if something's not the right side, build it. If you build it. Okay. So let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and get this We'll have this one ready. So I'll be doing one of these for the watermelon and one of these for the um, one for the watermelon, one for the berry. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and put this right there in the crease. Whoa, yeah, sure you are. Okay, so I have a question. Do you like seeing all of the steps or would you rather just see finished journals? Um, I, you know, I, I'm curious. And when you're looking for finished journals, what is it that you search for? How do you search for your finished when you're um, searching for, to look at finished journals? Okay, that we're off off kilter there. Don't want to be off kilter, that's for sure. Okay. Make sure I'm straight. Also could do a tip in with this on another page. Okay. There's that. And then this one, I'm just going to add it to that. Okay, so there we go. We built our own little booklet, and it'll be an add-in. You'll have two pages on one side and one page on the other. Okay. 
So we'll be doing the same thing for this pile. Um, and there you go. Okay, so um, each gets a little bullet journal page. You see these variety of colors? That'll be, that's going to be fun. I like a variety of colors. Okay, and then I have this, and I don't normally turn my papers on its side, but I really, I was looking at something, and I really liked the way this one looked on its side. I like the size of it, and I like the color, so it's going on its side. I do like a variety of papers, um, paper sizes in my journal, so... Okay, so here we have the um, children's paper, and I think we're going to go ahead and on this side, we'll go ahead and have it almost be the right size. So I've marked it, measured and marked it. I'm going to go ahead and fold it, up, fold it over at my, I can't see my mark. Okay, fold it over at my mark. So this is my full size page right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna fold this page in and it's gonna give me a little flip, more writing space. And we have one of these for each pile. And I like to do things this way because, I mean, if you're going through your stuff anyway, why not have three, right? Okay, so here we have... This one, I think we can just fold in half. I think it's um, small enough. We might have to cut a little bit off the edge, but I'm gonna go ahead and just fold this one in half. Again, I think this is great colors for this. I have some vellum, lightweight, very lightweight. I like different textures. How about you? Do you like to have different textures? Um, I am going to go through the wallpaper books and see if I can find uh, wallpaper that would be appropriate with this. Okay, so next we have our our guest book pages and we'll just fold those over. I noticed um, this is where the line is and I so on these last two since I noticed it I'm gonna go ahead they're not quite folded straight in half but that way it goes right up the center okay um, so then I would have the uh, oh here we we still got coffee dyed papers. Okay, so each of them get one of these. This is the corner one.
and then each of them get one of the side ones. I think these are, are going to be really pretty in these also. Again, this was made with the plastic doily and I will put the description or uh, the video for that in the description box down below. This is the polka dot holy grail paper. And I usually I have like five or six of these pans now. They're they're the heavy duty ones, not like the um, aluminum ones and I think I've got five or six of them now. I think I might have said that already, but it, um, so I can make these fast. Okay, so there's that. Then um, I know that the lemon is going to get that. And I'm looking to see if there's any. So that's the, this is the part that different ones are going to get different stuff is on those, um, those yellow papers. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. Okay. And we do need to cut down this one and this one. So you can see that right off the bat that those two need to be cut down. So we have, um, or we'll have some dyed papers. And if I need more lined paper, I have it over here. I also have the um, parchment paper that I had left over. But I'm not going to fold those yet until I find out if I need more papers. Because I think we might be good on papers. We've got, um, I'm going to put this over here. We've got, um, everybody's got one, two, three, well, let's do it this way. So polka dot, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one has 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so that's that's 18 plus the other colored pages and the digital pages that I'm going to put in here. That's actually quite a bit. Um, but I don't know at this point what I'm going to take out. Um, I do want to show you that for the berry, I think it's going to be for the berry one, I have this... Um, this cover from Selena at uh, Amore Fabrics. She still has covers over there, you guys, if you um, want to go and pick something out. But I thought that I would. this would be a good color and style for the, the one with the berries. And um, I still need to pick out my lemons. And, uh, yeah, so that is what I've got started and uh, I hope you enjoyed this I am really looking forward to our our challenge that or our collab that starts tomorrow again we're going to be doing the seven days and I do already have my um my things cut out for the days looking for them here sorry okay so that's from day five but I already have my day one pieces are cut and ready for tomorrow and then my day two three four and that's day five let's put that with day five because that goes with day five um, day six and so all of those are are ready. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Again, 
Make sure that you comment on this video and all of the seven days of summer videos for your, uh, for your chance to be gifted something fun. And also, if you are participating, make sure that you're posting in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group and the Care of Brandon and Friends um, Facebook group. So the links to our Etsy shops where the digitals are on sale, uh, mine are on sale all the way through uh, Memorial Day. Actually, they'll be, we'll, I'll leave them on sale through the whole, all the way up through the second. Um, and then um, Kara's are on sale through the 26th. So 50% off. And remember, I have all 11 of my summer digitals, which includes the At the Beach, um, both of them, the Antique Beach Beauties, the Sunflower Kits, the Patriotic Kit, and this, then also the um, Base Kit, which was that one that I, this one. Okay, so it's just bases that you can use um, to make ephemera. That one. And then the Sweet Summer, which is the one that I showed you with the collage pages. And the Seven Days of Summer. Find something to celebrate every day. <laughs> make sure you go watch a, one of these videos because YouTube really likes it. And they picked one out for you up here. Special for you to watch. And have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.